Welcome to the Device Lab channel. Today, we will be examining the best graphics cards under $300. Prepare for an insightful exploration where I will uncover their exceptional qualities and distinguishing features. Let's delve into the details. The AMD Radeon RX 6650 XT emerges as a formidable contender in the realm of 1080p gaming. Featuring the groundbreaking AMD RDNA 2 architecture, this graphics card is engineered to deliver an ultimate gaming experience, striking an impressive balance between performance and efficiency. The device isn't without its drawbacks, however. One notable limitation is its memory bandwidth, which, while sufficient for most current games, might not cater to the most demanding tasks or future-proof your setup as well as some of its competitors. Additionally, the power consumption, rated at 180 watts, suggests a need for a capable power supply unit, with a recommendation standing at 500 watts, a factor worth considering during your build or upgrade. What sets the Radeon RX 6650 XT apart from its rivals is not just its raw specifications, but the suite of technologies AMD packs alongside. With support for AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, AMD Smart Access Memory, and Ray Accelerators for each of its 32 compute units, the card aims to enhance performance and visual fidelity across a broad spectrum of games. This technology stack, particularly AMD's Fidelity FX offering and Smart Access Memory, works to push frame rates higher and reduce latency, which can be a game changer for competitive and immersive gaming experiences. Eager to know the latest prices of these models? Dive into the video description. I've included handy Amazon links for every model I've discussed. Feel free to click through while I continue with the review. The Intel Arc A750 steps into the gaming arena as Intel's ambitious return to the discrete graphics card market. Built on the cutting-edge 6 nanometer process by TSMC and leveraging the XEHPG microarchitecture, the ARC A750 marks Intel's serious commitment to competing in a domain long dominated by AMD and NVIDIA. Despite its robust offering, the A750 isn't without its challenges. The card's 225-watt TDP necessitates a power supply of at least 550 watts, a consideration for those upgrading from less demanding hardware. Moreover, while the ARC A750 presents itself as a strong contender in the mid-range market, potential buyers should weigh its performance in the context of their specific gaming and application needs. Intel's A750 distinguishes itself with unique features, such as support for DirectX 12 Ultimate, Vulkan 1.3, and hardware-accelerated ray tracing. Furthermore, its deep link technologies enhance multitasking and creative workflows by efficiently distributing tasks across available Intel CPUs and GPUs. This integration potentially offers more seamless and powerful computing experiences for users who juggle gaming with content creation. Don't miss out. Be sure to tap that like button and hit subscribe to stay in the loop with all my latest videos. Your support means the world to me. Diving into the AMD Radeon RX 7600, it's clear this card is a beast for 1080p gaming. Equipped with 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory and a hefty boost frequency of up to 2655MHz, this card promises to deliver smooth, high-fidelity gaming experiences without breaking a sweat. AMD is packed with the advanced RDNA 3 compute units, second-gen ray tracing accelerators, and new AI accelerators, making it a powerhouse for modern games and applications. However, not everything is rosy. While the RX 7600 shines in many aspects, its limitations are worth noting. The 128-bit memory interface shared with the RX 6600 might seem underwhelming to some, especially considering the bandwidth demands of today's top-tier games and applications. Additionally, the transition from the first gen to the second gen Infinity Cache, although on upgrade, might not be as impactful as some users might expect. When comparing the RX 7600 to its competition, it's clear AMD has focused on delivering value in the 1080p gaming market. The card's performance, coupled with features like ray tracing and AI acceleration, positions it as a strong contender against similar offerings from rivals. Its advantage in display connectivity, with support for DP2.1 and NVIDIA's DP1.4A in its RTX 40 series, is a noteworthy differentiation for users with cutting-edge display requirements. 
In summary, the AMD RX 7600 is a compelling choice for gamers and creators focusing on 1080p content. Its blend of performance, advanced features, and connectivity options make it suitable for those looking to enjoy the latest games at high settings without stretching to the top end of the budget. Diving into the Intel Arc A770, it's a fascinating piece of tech that stirred up the graphics card market. With its 4096 cores and beefy 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory running at a zippy 2187 MHz, this card is a powerhouse designed to handle intense gaming and creative workloads with ease. Its core clock speed hits 2100 MHz, ensuring smooth and efficient performance across the board. However, no product is without its flaws. Some users have noted compatibility issues with older games, which might be a drawback if you're looking to dive into your classic gaming library. Plus, the performance can vary depending on the driver support, which Intel has been continuously improving since launch. Compared to its main competitors from AMD and Nvidia, ARC A770 brings unique features to the table, such as excellent ray tracing performance and Intel's deep link technology. Its price to performance ratio is also quite competitive, making it an attractive option for gamers and creators alike looking for high performance without breaking the bank. All in all, the ARC A770 stands out as a solid choice for anyone looking to upgrade their gaming setup or dive into intensive creative tasks. Its strong performance, coupled with Intel's backing, makes it a noteworthy contender in the graphics card market. Diving into the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 8 gigs, you're looking at a solid piece of gaming hardware that punches above its weight class. Right out of the gate, the blend of a 1777 MHz boost clock with 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory ensures you're getting crisp, clean visuals even in the most demanding games. This card doesn't just aim to play games, it aims to immerse you in them. However, no hero is without its Achilles heel. The 128-bit memory bus might leave some power users wanting more especially those looking to push ultra-high resolutions or dive deep into VR. It's a minor hiccup in an otherwise smooth performance curve, but something to be aware of. Comparing this model to its competitors, the GeForce RTX 3060 8 gig carves out its own niche. It offers a middle ground between high-end behemoths and the more budget-friendly options, making it a perfect candidate for gamers who want great performance without breaking the bank. Its TDP of 170 watts strikes a nice balance between power and efficiency, ensuring you're not going to heat your room to sauna levels during a gaming marathon. In conclusion, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 8 gig is a jack of all trades. Whether you're a hardcore gamer, a content creator looking for that sweet spot of price versus performance, or someone who appreciates smooth visuals, this GPU has a lot to offer. Diving into the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060, I've gotta say this little powerhouse really brings something fresh to the table for mid-range gamers. Right off the bat, the RTX 4060 makes a compelling case for itself with its robust architecture, featuring a healthy serving of CUDA, Tensor and RT cores, all while keeping the clock speed zippy. It's like NVIDIA decided to bring the heat to the mid-range game without burning our wallets. Now no product is perfect, and the RTX 4060 has its fair share of critiques. It's somewhat like a high-flying basketball player who can't quite nail the three-pointer. The GPU flexes its muzzle to 1080p, providing a smooth gaming experience, but starts to show its limits when pushed to 1440p or 4K resolutions. The memory setup, while adequate, isn't breaking any records and can bottleneck in certain high-demand scenarios, particularly with ray tracing cranked up. Comparing it to the field, the RTX 4060 stands out in a few key areas, especially against its direct predecessor, the RTX 3060, and the competition from AMD. Its efficiency and power consumption and performance per watt is like having an electric car that actually rivals sports cars in a drag race. Plus, the inclusion of features like DLSS3 offers a glimpse into the future of gaming, providing significant performance boosts in supported titles. So who's this card for? If you're building or upgrading a mid-range PC and most of your gaming is at 1080p, this card is a no-brainer, especially appealing for those looking to dip their toes into ray-traced gaming without breaking the bank. And with its impressive efficiency, it's kind on your electricity build too. However, if you're chasing the highest resolutions and frame rates, you might want to look up the GPU ladder.
As we wrap up, don't forget that you can find links to all the mods I talked about in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to keep up with future content. And remember, I love hearing from you, so feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, happy exploring!